which is on Netflix right now. Zazie, congrats on the movie. For anyone who hasn't got it yet, tell us what it's about and who you play. Um, I play Mary Fields, and it's uh, essentially sort of in the vein of the of the true Western. It's kind of a revenge story. Uh, a young man, Nat Love, avenging his father, and I kind of... Um, I am his lover, and I join him on this journey. It's such a good film. It's so brilliantly made. It's, it's like a, you're right. It holds all the constructs of of traditional westerns yeah. that you love, and yet is it's kind so of so untraditional in so many ways of what we normally think of a western to be. Yeah. And when you're stepping into doing a western and stuff like that, it, were you good? Had you ridden horses before? Had I you have. done that before? Yeah, I grew up. Um, my family, we used to go to this farm, and they just had kind of like traditional livestock, but then also horses, and they would just kind of like throw the kids on the horses and we just ride them around. So I wasn't trained traditionally, but I could, you know, it's more about rhythm. Like a horse, you gotta kinda, yes. That's it. Have you done it? You That's ASMR, do that. by the way. Yeah, it is. That's ASMR. Have That's you done it or are you one of those actors that lies about riding a horse and you're just hoping that no one ever brings you up on it? Or you've hey done man, it, right? I'm from Queens. I, I ride horses all the time. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually can ride a horse. I, uh, I, uh, I've done quite a bit of riding. Um, I did a movie actually with Brian Cox mm -hmm. years ago and we shot in France and then we finished the film in the Czech Republic and they had to get a horse that looked like my horse in France. But the horse in the Czech Republic didn't have the French temperament mm -hmm. and that horse didn't know, they, he didn't have brakes. Ah. And um, yeah, he almost split me like a wishbone. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> This is my issue. I'm surprised that we're constantly all cool with riding a horse. I, I am too. Yeah. Like, no, I'm I just, am too. But yeah. we're all just, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, it's a horse. I'm like, well, no, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got Do you know what I mean? Are we yeah. really checking with the horse that they're cool with this? <laughs> they're not. I don't they're think they cool are, they're yeah. Not. They're not cool no, with it. Yeah. I once was walking towards <laughs> a place where there was like, you could go on a horse ride, and I was taking my kids, <laughs> and I could a... see the fear in the horse's eyes, looking at me, thinking, ah, oh, not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually said to the horse, "Don't worry, buddy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be her." <laughs> and he and, and genuinely, the horse went. <laughs> yeah. <"That's>, um... <laughs> Reggie, have you got a question for our guest this evening? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's the question. Uh, let's say that you, one of you, or both of you, become cardinals. Uh, you end up picking a branch that you think is pretty solid, but upon landing, you realize that it may break at any moment. Um, there are two owls that are approaching from the east, and there is a small wildcat uh, that is prowling beneath the tree. What do you think, what's your strategy? What do you think you guys do? Fly west? <laughs> Fly to the nearest Catholic church. <laughs> uh, Does yeah. that answer it? Yeah, according to the multiverse, you're all correct. It's absolutely correct. Please thank <laughs> Sassy Bates, Adrian Brody. When we come back, we'll be talking to Little Sims. Don't miss it, everybody.